Are we passing on an anemic? Anemic, that I'm not anemic. Anemic. Uh -huh. anemic. Anemic. Right? Are we passing on an anemic recovery? Are we passing on an anemic Christianity? No. Huh? What are we passing on? It's not about what we teach. It's about what are we need. And I gave a lot of more mentorship to my kids in my time of years. You see, by example, I taught my kids a very wrong teaching for many years. But you know what? Today, I follow in Jesus. I follow in His examples. That's why the Bible says, right, to place our eyes on Jesus, the author and the consumer of our faith. You see, yeah, Paul say, be an imitator of me. Paul say that. The Apostle Paul say that. You can read it in the Bible. He said, be, he told Timothy, be an imitator of me as I am an imitator of Christ. And yes, I said a lot of wrong examples to my kids. By example. Because I was telling them to do the right thing, but with my action, I was showing them to do the wrong things. But today, I changed the moral of my mentor. My mentor is Jesus. My mentor is His Word. And as I change, right, my lifestyle with His teaching, my kids see something different today. Yes, they will be able to say, my dad used to go out and don't come back for six days. My dad used to come home. Oh, my dad used to end up in jail many times. My dad used to steal from a lot of people. He used to see me in a stolen car passing them by now. Right? But the day will come, maybe it is right now, that they can also say, yes, my dad did all that. But my dad changed. But my dad started serving God. But my dad started going to programs. You know, they, they, they were able to say, my dad went through a lot of details, through a lot of programs. But today they can say, yeah, but my dad then go to programs, teach the program, feed the homeless, give back to the community. You see, their examples is going to change. I try to mentor my child in the right way. And realize that one thing or not, I am mentoring them. So I just want you to keep that in mind. If you think it's not your responsibility to sponsor or teach another person, yes, you are. We are all teaching another by example. So what do you want to pass on? Are you want to pass on strength or weakness? No. And if you want to pass on the right teaching, get into the right teaching. Get into the right perception. You see, it's about teaching the message they have authority. And it's the message of the good news. The message of God's kingdom. The word of God. You know, that is life in His word. And that's what we need. We rinse ourselves from all that wrong information that is there. And we need to teach other people in the way. Well, time is over. And uh, I just want to pray before we go. Um, you cannot depend on a, on a human teacher to teach you everything. And I tell you straight out. I'm just teaching you what the Holy Spirit has teach me. What I have learned through the Word of God. But you know what? I don't know at all. You need to get yourself into God's Word. And you have the excuse I used to have, but I don't understand it. You know, the Bible says that the Holy Spirit will teach you all things. Right. It will teach you all things. Trust me, if you read the Bible and say, God, and you understand this, He will. He will teach you. If you don't know how to deal with your kids, you don't know how to be the right person, you have to be the right wife, the right girlfriend, the right husband, the boyfriend, whatever you are, whatever you have. You know? And the way that you have been as a husband, a wife, a brother, a daughter, a mother, if the way that you have been that it hasn't been the right way, it hasn't been the right expectation that you have. So then ask God to teach you. Say, God teach me. You know what? 
Get into his word, trust me. It's all here. We need to let ourselves be taught. But you know what? We need to seek for that teaching. We need to seek out. I didn't know how I used a meal. Somebody told me, but because I went to him and said, teach me. You know, to learn the wrong things, it wasn't no shame to go after and find out how to do it. You know, let's put not the same, even more effort to learn who we are in God. You know, to learn what is our purpose in God. You know, and to make sure that we pass life unto other people and no longer better. By example and by words. That we can comfort others, encourage others, help others, assist others. You know, not just with our teaching, but with our time, with our example, and with our helping, helping each other, giving back to each other. That's how we meant to. Right? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord. And we thank you, Lord. Because even though we are so stubborn, you never stop, Lord, giving us your message. You never stop teaching us. You never stop, Lord, seeking after us. It's no more that we seek after you. It is you that make your way to seek after us, Lord, and reach us in our darkness. And every time we think that we know it all, every time we absorb and observe the wrong teaching, and we ended up with the result that is always the same, that, that is always the same, that hurt and pain. You always come, Lord, to be in your mind. You always come to try to mold us into the person that you created us to be, Father. Father, you know what we lack in. You know where we are short in knowledge. You were saying that your people perish for lack of knowledge, Father. Father, you know where we stand, everyone in here, Lord. Father, give us the teaching of every area. Help us to identify what, what in our mentality, what in our mentality, in our, in our perception, doesn't align, with your, doesn't align with your knowledge, Lord. Help us to take after every thought, every perception that is not yours, Lord. And help us, Lord, to step into the commission that you gave us of teaching all nations. Teaching them with the good things, Lord, with your word, so that they can walk in the authority that you died on the cross to provide for us. Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.